celebration of Pham Tay Kim Phu, June 8, 1972, Vietnam. My eyes burn as I look at the photo, choking on the bitter smoke following her down the road. She has ripped the burning clothing from her body. Nun Qua, Nun Qua! Too hot, too hot. At nine years old, she is not posing for the camera, smiling and playful. She is instead unthinkably exposed to the world, a stark reminder of the reality of war. Just moments before the button was pushed and the photo taken, the life she had known was irreversibly changed, as if it were the target of the napalm. And as she stumbles down the dusty road, arms open, face distorted with fear and pain and disbelief, she has no idea how many lives she is about to touch. He was 24, a soldier doing a soldier's job when he pushed the button to order the bombing. And at 49, her screams still find him. That image remains a part of him like jagged remnants of shrapnel lodged deeply into his heart. And always, the weight of his accountability keeps him down, skews his balance, his ability to stand tall. She is now 33, a young woman and mother. And rather than allowing her past and her pain to surround her, rather than letting the flames engulf her own children, or your children, or my children, she instead places a wreath at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial and says, if I could stand face to face with the pilot who dropped the bombs, I would tell him that we cannot change the past, but should do good things for the present and for the future to promote peace. And then, with the wall as their witness, he steps away from the crowd listening to her speak. And she, she opens her arms wider still and embraces him. Ten Hoa, Ten Hoa, I forgive.